back boys today there's a new video by popo gaming and we're going to talk about the pace versus shooting experiments so today i pretty much tried out this team playing with inform Jervini and inform Baka, and so i wanted to kind of feel how they felt and how was really pace compared to shooting this year if it was more of sweaty year or more of a finishing year so behind now you're watching four or five of my games to make you understand how the team really felt and how I pretty much based my decisions on for the result of who won at the end of the video. So I thought that Gervinho was a better player than he actually looked. His finishing was way better than he felt. His probably in his card it says around 75 finishing. I felt like it was 80, 85. He actually did have pretty good finishing in some occasions. He fucked up a couple times, but of course, any player can fuck up a lot of times. Also, the Ebers, the Gueros, with the 90 finishing fuck up. So, Baka's finishing was unreal. He really only had the chance to score bangers, he did. Left and right foot, even if he has that freestyle weak foot. And so, behind them, I decided to put some kind of pacey slash still, pacey slash skillful players. So, on the side of uh, on the left side, I put Callejon. So Callejon is a very pacey and very passing player, which is great for the sprint dribble because he has also good ball control. He got a good amount of goals, and I thought he was a great camp for the couple K you're gonna spend. And I feel like this year the Serie A is really underrated for how good the players are compared to their price. On the right side, there was one of my favorite players this year. Inform Perzic is just unreal this year. He is so good. He pretty much plays as a winger, but it's a stats of the striker. He has 80, 82, 83 pace, which is perfectly fine for me this year. And he has the 80, 82 shooting, which makes him a deadly finisher. But then he has the passing and the dribbling. So he's a pretty much a player that you're playing at cam, but that has striker stats. So if he's in the positions to score, he will score. So, going to the CDMs, so I played Melo and De Rossi, so I have to say, they were some pretty good options, but by my mistake, I didn't put any, in any instructions on them, so pretty much often I felt like the, def the defense was open, because I didn't put any defensive or conservative interceptions on them, and so I felt like that also affected my what I thought about the team, because the team conceded too many goals and I think maybe not only instruction but also a change of formation could help this team out even though I highly recommend the team like and also if you were if these players were too expensive for you I would just use left forward Jervinia as striker and all the other and all the other ones as gold players maybe change up the formation because Perzic will place left mid so as you witnessing in this game I conceded six goals. It's true that I got two red cards, but like I still feel like it's not accept acceptable to, uh, to to concede this amount of goals. Like every time I would score, he would counter me and score again. Like it's it's really annoying when you're near five four five five end of the game and your defenders are not defending well. So in this other game, I I won this game two one comfortably. And I felt that, um, he, you can see in the stats here, uh, in the goals here, Jovino was the star of the game. We were 3-1 up at half time, so I felt really comfortable, and then the guy rage quit, was, which was great. So, then we came up against this very cheap Turkish team, which I feel Turkish teams are very underrated this year for the cheapness of the players and for how good they play. Players like Burak Elmaz, Schneider are really good this game. So we won this game 2-1. I felt like the game was pretty tight even if at the end we came out. So in this game we played, we came up against a very standard BPL team. And he was 1-0 up and I felt, oh shit, I'm gonna lose this game. But then I actually managed to bring it back, back to 1-1. And then with Jervinho 2-1. Which was, I felt like this goal was very lucky but I put lots of pressure on him and so I feel like at the end I deserve to win. So now I'm gonna show you the stats of the players. So I so I felt like as I told you the defense was kinda wobbly. So I changed it around the defense and probably the formations. Remember to put instructions on 
and uh, also because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, if you have informs like me, go sell them right now because you're gonna lose lots of coins because if you don't sell them because of the price drop. He is gonna get out special packs and lightning rounds and players and spies are gonna be so cheap. So also maybe if you're thinking to if you wanna buy a great player and right now you don't have enough coins, stay on at the time to check out you can afford them. So here you can see my stats on my players. So both of the camps and both of the strikers scored a very good amount of goals. And at the end, I feel like the Jovino, even if he has the worst rating, won the episode. I just felt he was better. So thanks so much for watching. If you're still here, please like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.